Can we talk? Let's talk about how scientists are out here peeling back layers of the ocean like I peeled my wig off at the end of the day. And just like a fabulous wig, they're revealing new layers and beauty and mystery. We thought we saw it all. We haven't seen anything yet. You want to talk about it? Let's get cryptic. Now some aquanauts, by the way, an aquanaut is someone who lives and works underwater for an extended period of time, exploring the depths of the ocean. They're like fish with a degree, living deep sea life like it's their own personal reality show. Now back to the tea. Now some aquanauts boarded a ship from the Schmidt Ocean Institute and they took a deep dive into the dark mysterious Pacific using an underwater robot. Can you picture it? They're turning over slabs of volcanic crust like they're flipping flapjacks. But they're just not any slabs. They're hiding some unbelievable secrets down there. Do you know what they found buried beneath the ocean floor? A brand new world like we've never seen before. Something that we never even knew existed. We're talking about veins of subsurface fluids that are swimming with creatures we've never laid eyes on before. It's like opening a treasure chest of hidden wonders and it's all been uncovered by some smart researchers who were ready to venture where no one has gone before. Animals living beneath hydrothermal vents right under our noses. It's like a whole hidden ecosystem underneath another ecosystem. Jay Vermani, the executive director of Institute, said it best. This truly remarkable discovery of a new ecosystem hidden beneath another ecosystem provides fresh evidence that life exists in incredible places. Can you feel my excitement? All right, Monica, now catch this tea. They stripped back the seafloor's layers, and guess what's hiding beneath there? A dazzling ecosystem full of colorful worms, snails, and chemosynthetic bacteria. These critters don't need sunlight. They're getting their energy from minerals. Can you believe that? It's a disco party happening deep in the ocean, and we've got VIP passes to all the action. But wait, 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 it gets juicier. Tapeworms are the talk of the town, swimming beneath the seafloor through volcano floors to claim new territory. These deep sea adventurers are like the pioneers of new ocean floor, setting up camp in a new digs and bringing a whole new meaning to home sweet home. And guess what? To prove their point, these scientists use a remotely operated vehicle called Subastian Oh, and by the way, here's the remotely operated vehicle named Sebastian, who's like the James Bond of the ocean floor. It's got all the gadgets and gizmos to explore the deep blue and making waves and giving the fish some serious camera time. Watch out, Aquaman. Sebastian's diving in for a splashy adventure. Now, let's get back to the tea. And guess what? To prove their point, these scientists use a remotely operated vehicle called Sebastian to clear an area of the ocean floor and then place the mess box over it. Voila! In a few days, new creatures moved in. They came from beneath the ocean floor's cracks and fissures, showing us that the ocean's mysteries run deep and there's always more to uncover. So Monica, listen, these findings aren't just about satisfying our curiosity. They can impact the world of deep sea mining. These newly found wonders might be in danger if we're not careful. And that's why Wendy Schmidt, president and co-founder of the Schmidt Ocean Institute, is reminding us that there's so much left to explore and protect in our ocean. It's like a whole new world under the waves, and we've got to make sure we're taking care of it.